questions. Let us start with chapter number four, Microsoft PowerPoint. In this chapter, we are going to learn various things to be entered in a PowerPoint slide. By now, you might have understood the importance of PowerPoint. You might be seeing in various of the videos, many teachers are using PowerPoint to convey message regarding various concepts, theories being used in subjects. You might have seen even my video in which I have given you all the information of the chapter in PowerPoint presentation. Let us learn how to start PowerPoint presentation. So go to start, go to PowerPoint, and this opens in front of you. Here you have to click on blank presentation. Okay, PowerPoint is made up of slides. This is a slide, right? In this slide, by default, there are two placeholders. This is one placeholder, this is a second placeholder. Placeholder is the place where you enter the text. Okay. Here you can see on the left hand side of the screen number of slides which you can create. You can right click on it and click on new slide from here or you can click on the new slide button. This is known as title slide, title and content slide, section header, two contents, comparison, only title, blank, content with caption, picture with caption. So you can select the slide option according to your requirement. I will try to insert new slide using title and content. Okay. Now, in the first slide, why what we are going to enter is name of the chapter, chapter 4, Microsoft. PowerPoint. Okay. These are all flexible placeholders. You can increase or the decrease size of this placeholder using these handles. The circles what you see on the borders are called as handles, right? You click on it. You can drag it. If you observe the mouse pointer is having a plus sign which is reflecting that you selected the placeholder. This is how you can resize the placeholder. Okay. And then you can use this alignment of the text. This is left alignment, center alignment, and right alignment. When you click on left alignment, you can see the mouse pointer goes to the left hand side of the placeholder. When you click on center, it will come in the center of the placeholder. And when you click on right hand side, it will go to the right hand side. Now, you can enter bullets, various kind of bullets from here in a presentation. The bullets are useful to highlight important information which you would like to convey to the masses, right? Here we are going to learn how to insert INS here to insert a table in a presentation, right? So let us learn. We'll go to the slide number two. Here I am going to write in the 
top insert a table in a presentation so how to do that there are two ways first of all you can click on insert right go to table section click on the drop down arrow yes here the white boxes which you see this white boxes where i'm moving my mouse pointer please observe that okay and the blue line what you see right now in front of you on the slide is called as a row this is second row this is third row fourth row fifth row okay so row are all horizontal lines vertical lines are columns so i will enter the columns now this is first column can you see a white line which comes in middle so two columns are there the table is divided into two columns three columns four columns five columns and just left click here that means now you have inserted a table in a powerpoint presentation this is one method of entering a powerpoint presentation i just delete it so that i can show you another way of inserting a table you can again go to the insert option go to table there is an option known as insert table button click on it insert table dialog box is there in front of you here you can insert or define number of columns you want to insert in a table and number of rows you want to insert in a table so say for example i want five columns i will type five here six columns i'll go for six okay six column and six rows six rows to be more precise you can go for say eight rows and just press okay button oh there it is so this is one row two three four five six seven and eight rows are there and one two three four five and six are the columns okay now we'll say is there any other method sir yes as we have selected the title and content option the third method which i'm going to show you to insert a table is over here the images of the insert table is already there in the placeholder your insert table button is there left click on it again the insert table button is open in front of you here you can specify number of columns and number of rows number of column is 4 number of row is 6 and just press ok button so these are the various method which i wanted to show you to insert a row in a powerpoint presentation now wherever i click i can click on any of the boxes okay they are called as cells cell is made up of rows and column it is an intersection of rows and column it is called as a cell so the number of boxes what you see in front of you are all called as cells okay children now the next part is 
if you open a table by default the table tool gets activated this is known as table tool here in which ready-made designs are available known as table styles these are various kind of styles which you can directly apply on the table you can select the design of your choice and just press on that particular design the style it will be applied on the table right now if you want to enter any text like first of all i want to create a serial number that will show the sequence of the table name name of the child activity participated and score or says position if you want to enter text in any of the cells you can use the mouse pointer or the top arrow key bottom arrow key left arrow key or the right arrow key these are the various method by which you can enter the text in various cells or you can move the cursor right one name of the child is say for example asha asha and Activity participated is English. English recitation and scored first position in school. So I'm using the arrow keys to go down in the next cell and now I can type You can use tab key to go in the parallel line to the next cell also. So I hope I'm clear with how to insert a table in a PowerPoint presentation as well as how to enter the text in a PowerPoint presentation. You can shift the text in the center of the placeholder using the alignment button center. You can color it by selecting the text. Go to font section. Your various colors are there. You can color it. This is how you can do that. Same way, if you want to apply, if you want to select all the text, use Control plus A. This is how you select the entire text table right click on center you can see all the text are aligned properly in the center if you want to give color these are the various colors which you can apply on the text of your choice you can select it and then it. so these are the method by which you can insert the text in a PowerPoint presentation.
now shading how you can do various kind of shading in a table right if you want to do shading to a particular cell you have to keep the mouse pointer over there go to the shading area select the shading of your choice shading is nothing but the background color which you are changing it the same way you can apply to the other boxes by selecting the boxes right and then you can change the color this is known as shading now how to apply border in a table border are the lines which you see over here these are the orange lines what you are seeing are known as borders how to apply various kind of borders so for borders you will have to go to table tool design third go to draw border section right there are various tools like draw table eraser pen color right pen weight and pen style so to apply various styles you have to go to pen style select the border style which you want to apply it you can increase the thickness of this pen style by clicking on the weight tool you can also give various color to the border and if you observe the mouse pointer changes to pencil now what you are supposed to do you have to left click on the line don't forget that you do not skip the line it should be perfectly on the line and you can go ahead go ahead till the end of that particular line and leave it this is applied to the row same way i am going to apply it on the column from top to bottom like this okay this is how you can apply the border for a, now the question comes to our mind that if i want to apply the border to the entire table what i should do right so the best option is control plus a that means you selected the entire table right if you want some changes in the border style you can choose that if you want to make some changes in the thickness you can do that if you want to make the changes in the color you can do that and then smartest way is to go to border section click on all border option and see the effect yes so you have applied the effect on the table so these are the method by which you can create the table in the next lecture we will learn how to insert a chart in a presentation thank you